Sound is okay, yes. Mm. <clears throat> Our subject for this weekend is spiritual intelligence. The intelligence in any form is, is of value for everyone, any kind of intelligence. It makes life easy. It, it makes it easy for others also, for yourself. Intelligence helps. And spiritual intelligence is seen as the highest of all intelligences. You know, as someone is clever in mathematics, as someone is clever in logic, there are many kinds of intelligence. Spiritual intelligence is seen as the highest. And uh, immediate proof, if you are doing something right, is happiness. If you have something precious, you should be able to shift your mood when you choose. So right now, you know, this is one something you can we can all experiment with. Even here, if you have the awareness or attitude where you see others not as physical bodies but as as the invisible drivers invisible pilots who are using the body just as the experiment see others as invisible even for one minute and you will notice the shift in your mood Focus is not on the gross anymore. You are not thinking of the gross. We don't need to believe in anything here. Just an experiment. That focus, take it on the abstract and the invisible. For one minute, and you will notice shift in mood. That itself is good enough because we all need to learn how to bring about the positive feelings in ourselves. We all like this. It's a practical thing. And once the direction changes, it continues. Mind is like this. You know, if you give mind a certain direction, it goes in that direction. You know, just like a child. You know, a child is going in a certain direction. You lift a child, you know, let him face this way. He will start walking in that direction. Have you seen this, the children? <laughs> it is something similar with our mind. You give a direction, it goes in that direction. And it is intelligent to give the direction that is useful. Not just superficially, but you can be, in time you will know what is really a useful direction becomes easy. Just uh, change the direction and you get the results, disproportionate results down the line. <clears throat> happiness is one central, inner happiness is a very important part. Even the reason we are here, you know, is to be happy. Why are we searching for spiritual things? Why are we doing any kind of a job, career, Bottom line is happy. But the experts tell us that we are not experiencing our full potential of happiness. Is it like that in California? Or always happy? You know, this is described nicely in one story with Socrates. Once one young man comes to Socrates and asks, asks him, should I get married? You know, and Socrates, the wisest man at that time in the town, you know, he thinks for a while, he takes it seriously. Should I get married? He thinks. And after some time he says, truly it doesn't matter because you will suffer in either case. <laughs> and that describes our mindset, our models of life regardless of our achievement, success, you know, struggles, 
mind is still going in different direction. The outer life is having lots of success and achievements and, and treasures, but we are ignoring the inner life. There is no knowledge, even in universities, you know, psychology departments. There is not, you know, insight about how to make the inner life richer. We are making the outer life richer. So, if you learn how to make the inner life richer, that is a big success. Over this weekend, ask ask us at the end of the weekend if you got this little secrets about this. <clears throat> Let us create another few minutes. There is some kind of a, yeah, yes, but it is okay. It is nice musical <laughs> effect. Yeah, it stopped. <clears throat> In the beginning, we played with the attitude of the traveler. Let us create another short practice. And this is a practice in concentration. That is all. Just a background to this. <clears throat> mind never stops you know we no one can stop the mind you know having thoughts we we are alive because we think that is is it me no <laughs> it's the mind everything is off <laughs> So this mind is is uh, busy at the present time with lots of cyclical thoughts, <clears throat> and uh, these thoughts gravitate towards the negative also. Even the positive things are are thought in a negative way. For example, you might think. Last week was very nice. You know, I met some very special friend. But its interpretation at that one level is, but it is not happening now. I am missing it now. So some of these cyclical thoughts bring in a little bit of a stress factor, negative factors within us. Then. 90% of our thoughts are cyclical thoughts. So if you give your mind some program for say four minutes, to think of anything, it can be simple, you're not thinking of a flower or a tree, but mind is held in that one, one thought, or thoughts around that but mind is not going too far away from that. Like we took the example of the sky. You know, you may think of the clouds, but you are in the sky. Then what happens, the cyclical thoughts stop for those four minutes. And as I said, the benefits are not just for four minutes. Or in studies it is seen, benefits are for 90 minutes. A chemical in our brain called epinephrine, its level drops and remains low for 90 minutes. That is minimum, but you might find your mood has changed and you may be in a different mood for the rest of the day. We are talking about four minutes, but to give value to this, not to be good at this, Use, use this direction, giving direction to the mind. Something very simple. But 
we aim not just to you know, give a different direction and uh, we can take our mind to something that is truth and so there is a spiritual benefit also but right now let us experiment with this a concentration you may practice this with eyes open eyes closed you know, try both always good to check the posture and consciously relax the shoulders and this time we are going to that sky, vision of the sky, but sky beyond the sky. We are seeing it as an expanse of light. You may see it in any color. If you want to choose a color, choose a gentle red sky. And this is the region beyond. Even if the eyes are open, the eye of the mind is seeing that sky. the region of complete stillness, region of silence. When we are in the sky, there are no thoughts of anything else. <clears throat> Mind is engaged. In the sky, as if floating in that sky. This region is timeless. Because it is a region beyond, beyond even the physical sky. Timeless, changeless, endless.
into the subject of uh, spiritual intelligence <clears throat> will give you a uh, maybe a, 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 some list list of 16 areas you know, that are that are important aspect of the spiritual intelligence if someone is intelligent, what are the things to look out for? And, uh, and it will be good for us to reflect along these 16 areas. But today we'll take up one or two of these areas and, uh, and uh, discuss these areas, depending upon how the time permits. But also, this is like a more informal time today, just an opportunity for us to know each other. Feel free to ask also or share. One aspect you know, in the spiritual intelligence, being able to step back, that is the important part, important aspect of the spiritual intelligence. One way of dealing with our life, you do something, say something, and may have to regret afterwards for doing what you did. Other aspect, other method is just one few seconds, you are able, you have a possibility to step back and then say or act and your chances of regret will be less. It's considerably less sometimes. <laughs> Just a few seconds, you are stepping back and not reacting. And that is intelligent. We were using this language of the traveler. You will also hear the word guest. You know, we hear the word detachment, detached observer. These words will be heard here quite a bit. All that happens in a guest, one who is a witness, one who is detached observer, he has training to step back. Like if a guest is here, anything happens, he doesn't just comment or doesn't criticize anyone, he steps back, he naturally steps back because he's a guest. In the same way, if you have the awareness that we are guests on this planet, you are naturally stepping back. And this training, if it is there for the life itself, then in all situations, you will not react but you will have the ability to step back. And that is uh, intelligent. You will have less to regret. You will be seeing your past with fondness. <clears throat> How we treat our enemies that is a reflection of myself. And you will see in, in the, if you see this world, political world, and uh, history, there are people who take full revenge on anyone who may be some problem to them in the future. Not even the enemy, maybe, but possibility of the enemy, that is enough. They will chase them and they will. But there are a few personalities whom we appreciate. There are statues of these people everywhere. People worship them. One, one big example recent is Nelson Mandela. A little less recent, Gandhi. <clears throat> 
and Christ, <laughs> not so recent. What is the uniqueness of all these three personalities? They have been able to love the enemy. In a, in a very practical level, they put this into practice, love the enemy, saw to it that they, they genuinely bring benefit to others, even though others are creating problems to them. They removed the, any kind of bitterness that exists, found a way to remove it from themselves. There are statues, you know, we, everyone knows greatness of these personalities. Whatever that worked, you know, but they lifted themselves above the pettiness. And that is intelligent for, and it is in their own interest. Why? Why it is in their interest? Because in the future there will be statues. <laughs> That may not be a bad idea, but is there anything more in their own interests during lifetime? If if one person, wait, I was in one gathering and he asked me, "Will you go as far as saying that we should love Hitler?" You know, and so I asked him, "Okay, you want to hate Hitler? He's gone." But you are the one who will get acid in your stomach, more acid, chances of more peptic ulcers. You are the one who will have high blood pressure, more chances of stroke and heart problems. He is gone, Hitler is gone, but you are having hatred for him. You are punishing yourself. What is clever about this? But on the contrary, if you are able to forgive, if you are able to go beyond that, whatever others have done, there may not be Hitler's here, but some small things, what others are doing around you. If you are able to go beyond, if you are able to love, genuine love, then you are helping yourself. You are experiencing a mind that is a richer mind, you, know, you are creating a happy time now rather than hating someone that, that doesn't even exist in your life. If someone understands this value and puts this into practice, he is clever because he is making his life richer now. Yes. Hmm? Question: Is it is it okay to learn from the individual versus having to forgive or love? Learn? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it's learn, go beyond. Yeah, learn and go beyond. Yeah. Yes. In a, yeah, but if you are able to forgive, also, that is greater. If you are able to love, that is even higher. Learning happens, it is parallel. In, in one place, there was one lady in a, in a place of, uh, at work who had this personality, quick at taking offense, quick at giving offense. So everyone, were running away from her. And if, if they have to do the job, they will get it done and run away as quickly as possible. And one day I was watching this scenario and I get a, I see others are avoiding trying to run away, but I could sort of see she cannot run away from herself. You know, she has to deal with this mind 24 hours. And it's a torture to have a mind like this. On the contrary, we all like to be with some people. You know, we may travel sometimes 
long distance to be with someone just for half an hour or one hour. Why? Because in the company, in the presence, you are taking benefit. Not, you are not looking for some coffee or chocolate, but the mind, you are enjoying the company of that mind. If that mind is positive, you know, it, others are also getting uplifted. We can call that noble mind. If others are taking benefit, you know, so they want to come there even for half an hour. He has got that mind 24 hours. So also here, you know, someone like Gandhi or Nelson Mandela, if he is able to experience this richness even towards the enemy, and that other enemies of course get this experience they get love they get happiness but he is having that mind 24 hours <clears throat> we said at the beginning everyone knows how to make their outer life richer that's what all the universities are teaching us how to make their life outer life richer <clears throat> but here are some steps how we can make inner life richer or some giving insights parallel in outer life nothing wrong with making the outer life rich but also at the same time if you understand how to make the inner life richer then you are truly rich Otherwise, there can be lots of gold outside and mind is experiencing, you know, offense and uh, disappointments and comparisons and competition. Then he is poorer. <clears throat> you want to add anything? Say anything? Has, has this situation where there are some personalities you try to avoid and after this weekend do you do you want to take this as a challenge <laughs> that uh, you want to make them your friends you know so. Yes. And you are able to grow, otherwise you will never grow. Yes. Yeah. Grateful you, Yeah. Another area of uh, our intelligence. You know, most of the time we plan things based upon the past. You know, and. Uh, Intelligent will be future based decision as opposed to uh, based upon the past. As an example, say someone has done a certain problem to you two years ago, he has done the same thing two months ago, two days ago. Okay, you got a uh, history here and based upon this you say okay i am going to avoid him tomorrow you know i am going to plan things in a different way because this is what has happened 
for last two years or someone has done something or some country might have done something based on that you are planning or you your policies for the future other option you have is think of the future have a vision of the future what kind of future you would like to have what kind of relationship you would like to have with that country in 10 years time for the next generation you know tomorrow can be a person what is the future what is in your interest what is in the interest of others in your family in your country so based on that you are thinking having the vision grasping the vision and once you have grasped that vision now what would be the right step to achieve that you are not completely you know ignoring the past but uh, there are steps how to deal with it but your vision is is a new factor and once you have got that vision that will guide the direction otherwise you are you, there is always a vision but if you are just basing it on the past your vision is negative you feel this is what is going to happen <laughs> and and that vision that that gives a direction that's what you will achieve a driving instructor will tell you you know if you are driving and if there is something happening there some accident happened or someone is jumped out something is happening at the side and uh, he will tell you see where your car should go your attention should be where the car is going to go if you are looking at that that place your car will go there it can be a cat there why the cat you know your your car will go there you should see where you want to go first so also here if your vision is based upon the past that is where you will end up if you independently you know not based upon the past go for the highest vision and that vision itself will find find way how to reach there to to be able to grasp a high vision itself is intelligent about anything you know in a limited way you know you may like to think of in your job what is the vision you know or it can be at another level different levels but vision and we have it it, it gives a direction to the destiny uh -huh. uh, and basing on the past it, the, that is what people do you know that's what uh, everyone does but that is the reference they have here we are saying we have the option to base it on the future we are not encouraging to base it on the past but base it on the future and for this grasp a vision an elevated vision is that clear Mm. 
Most of the time that happens in human work, right? If someone is doing certain way and you know, then the mind gives you a signal, hey, hold on. Yes. So it comes automatic, right? Like the past experience of that person comes automatic. Yeah. Yeah, what, just one extra factor is the vision. Mm -hmm. Introduce the elevated vision. Everyone have huge potential, but our negative vision can trap them in that kind of uh, behavior or their reactions. If your vision is higher, it, it opens them to do something different. So, as you said, we have to keep higher vision, mm. but when we are practicing visualizing the higher vision, and what if there is always the doubt that comes when I read that way? You know, yeah. or is there a way how we can have a fear or maybe sometimes not to think about whether this will happen, whether or not this will happen, whether we have a piece of faith? At this stage, it is okay, but you want to start having the vision, that itself is a good thing. You introduce the vision, you know, the mind is working in that direction, and that in time, things will continue to get refined. And doubt will come in the beginning. So, the vision is based in the part we are playing, right? So, is already on a higher plane, right? Yes. So this is just for the past. When soul is established in the pit, it doesn't matter the past and the No, this is like a principle. Vision is a principle. Mm -hmm. And we can take it at any level. As I said, it can be at the level of the job even. Vision has its results. You give energy to it. But if you go in there. Yeah, it is up to us at what level we take that vision. But it is nice to experiment with it, to know that we have the option to introduce this at any to experiment in a simple way in relationships, you know, with small different things. Experiment. What is the future I would like to have? Rather than just you know, uh, close the uh, situation. Just giving an example, you know, uh, Prince Charles, when, at that time he was Prince Charles, you know, he visited Ireland and met the people, you know, some, that time, Irish uh, Republican army who killed Lord Mountbatten. Lord Mountbatten was his uncle, you know, or grand uncle, I think, some relation. But more than that, he was uh, like his um, friend, Prince Charles. And that was uh, then, you know, some 30, 30 years or 40 years earlier, you know, he died. Uh, Lord Mountbatten, Mount but he goes to meet uh, the people and uh, created some friendship. What was the reason? Thinking of the next generation, you know, what is the future I would like to have with the country? I can take the position. These are the people who killed my, you know, uncle, and I am going to beat them. You know, so th there are some countries, some families who have kept the animosity down the generations. They don't even know why that animosity is there. What was the original reason? They don't even know. But the animosity is still going, going down the generation. And here they are introducing a new, new vision for the future, for the country. And taking a step, simple step. If there is a vision, then we will take the step. 
and it is good for the country but for everyone for at the level of the world level political level you know this is good for us to experiment with and uh, you will find things are very very easy there are answers you know there are simple solutions if we experiment with Is there something I can claim up for a mom that we can just like mentally it? <laughs> <laughs> or sure. is there you know something like a technique of some sort that we can a tool that we can yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, sure. Tomorrow we'll get the more opportunity to mm. uh, to understand the details and the structures framework but from what we discussed today it is more like the experiment mm -hmm. you know you can sort of see you know, say some situation some scenario some relationship what is um, what was the, i had almost taken for granted this is the only way it can go this kind of attitude what can be the other outcome here what can be the positive vision I can think here? Just a vision, that's enough. The moment you have the vision, that itself opens a new destiny. And then it might help you to think of some simple steps in that direction. But there is that opens a new channel. It's just one, one framework that is often work well for me is just ask yourself the question when is the last time I did something for the first time? Very simple framework. Mm -hmm. It's like that's usually when we you know because we're all prisoners of our own experience, that's natural. Mm -hmm. You can't fight that. So the way to break it is to do something a bit different. Mm -hmm. So that's a simple framework. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Mm. That's nice. Give yourself an option to see there are other options. Shall we come to Sarah? You want to add anything? You want to come here? And this is a chance for you to ask difficult questions. <laughs> share briefly and uh, I know it's a joke difficult questions but um yeah I just um was remembering one of the meditators in uh, Spain was sharing his um uh, situation with his boss who was being um extremely disrespectful and he'd been a meditator uh, this, this gentleman had been a meditator for some time and so he had got this these tools um, but I found what he shared really inspiring and, and just to see the practical application, he said, okay, I'm going to see this as advanced training in communication skills <laughs> for free. So 
and he's cheerful. He'd kind of got some, some I guess it's a sense of self-respect which comes from having the option to see it as a, as a training. Um, but it went on for some time, so he had this training <laughs> for some time. But what happened was the boss started to change his behavior just because he perhaps was getting some insights. Um, the reactions were not ordinary. And in the end, the boss even started to see the benefit of meditation through this gentleman and uh, even started to practice himself. He even asked his wife to practice <laughs> quite a thing. But it, it gave um, it gave me some insights that um, the, they call it reframing, I think, in psychology. But that we do have this power and um, and uh, yeah, taking the learning as you were saying earlier, basically. But it, it does require perhaps a, a, a neutral space because this triggering that goes on when we take things personally requires, and this is where it's not, it needs the it needs the technique in a deeper way because it's about identity and um, who we feel we are. So yeah, thank you. I'm assuming there aren't difficult questions, but I'll push it to back. Otherwise, we'll be creating a few minutes of silence and have a early, early bed. We'll be creating a few minutes of silence and then we, we finish for the day. And the, does that I want to say anything or add anything? Want to do it now? multi-level announcement. Yes, yeah, multi-programs. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want people to feel left out, so that's why you see it on my face. I'm kind of like, I don't want anybody to feel left out for programs, but it's an advanced class, and you, you need a little more context to join it. You, you're welcome to come, but you might just kind of go, uh. <laughs> um, and so, okay, you just kind of feel where I'm coming from. Okay, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
to this, we first check the posture and see that posture is comfortable and uh, consciously relax the shoulders. In this time, we are creating the awareness that in this room, the gathering is of the invisible, invisible travelers. They are associated with the physical body. as if our attention is on the invisible. And the invisible travelers, they belong to the invisible home. Here they are travelers. Here they are guests. With the eye of the mind, we are seeing that invisible home of all these invisible travelers. Aware that this home is eternal. And these travelers are eternal, immortal. We realize the truth of everyone is beautiful. All are safe. All are immortal. All have a home. And they have an extra gift. Of this physical experience. Thank you.